Uh, so the appointment letters, uh, nobody knows. It's a mystery, you know. Until today, they call us for swearing yesterday, and early in the morning they call up and say that uh, at least they call up la lucky, you know. <laughs> Sometimes they don't. Uh, MB says uh, postpone it. You know? Why is it postponed? Any idea? Why is it? Why is it postponed? It's very obvious, no. <laughs> the lists are all in the mess, <laughs> and everybody is lobbying for their position, including the NGO side, lah. To be fair, I'm also making. I'm also one of the causes of the delay, because uh, I have voiced very strongly as the as con compact president, the coalition for you know NGO and professional counselors. Uh, we have formed a body together. I'm the president. Um, I voice very strongly to MB and to Ronnie, uh, YB Ronnie Liu that we are not happy, totally disappointed with this and we are going to respond with a, some strong statements standing together uh, and uh, he has said that okay, he, he, he has promised us that we will have a meeting with the MB um, he just called me actually just now and he said that uh, the meeting will be on I said I'm, I'm not just talking about lobbying for so and so who and who to be in I'm not. I'm talking about the whole system, you know, uh, and I, I hope that there won't be any more a reappointment. Maybe local council elections will kick in by the next term. I hope, but if not, if this nonsense still goes on, then we should at least be uh, assured of a system whereby it's accountable and all, all stakeholders are involved. Meaning the NGOs, the 25% quota should be properly compiled and not be at the whim and fancies of uh, political parties to pick and choose and drop which, whichever they want. You know? Bring back the local council and let the people decide. Not a bunch of politicals sitting there to decide and based on their, I, I don't know what interest there, there might be. You know? uh, sometimes it could be, it's not, things that I'm seeing are not new. A lot, every taxi driver and chow kuei man on the street will know this. These are all these utang budi things. You know? Some group of uh, local chapter chairman comes around and say, hey, I want this guy inside the council. If not, you can forget about my support. And so you need to accommodate that. That's why the, the list is late. What else? Come on, yeah? We are not children, you know. We know what's going on. Why you drop certain people who are doing work? I can name you a few people, a few councillors in MBSJ who are not really doing work uh, efficiently as people who have been dropped like Teresa and also Dr. Loy who was dropped and re uh, pulled back again. It's not technical mistake. It was some kind of wheeling and dealing nonsense that was going on, you know. So that makes me very sad because I see good, good people. Yeah, Teresa or some others who are ex might have uh, flawed in some ways. I also might have flawed in some ways. But the point is, how do you judge? Where's the criteria? Is it just like blanket statement by some people to say that, oh, this guy is not performing, kick him out. I see a lot of non-performing counsellors everywhere still in. Why? 